Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So Divine Masculine, I am here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and get no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine masculine. Getting no fit nucks. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Tyrolland. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. Ta. All right, Divine Masculine. Ta. Let's just get straight to it, G. Because I, I do hear songs right before I start your reading. I have been lately, but shit. I don't be knowing like last time, and that shit was not for you. I don't remember if it was the last seven days or before that. But yeah, y'all ain't about to be making no fool out of me. We'll see if the shit come out. Okay? Okay. Give me some messages about, uh, in regards to Divine Masculine. How he'll be feeling about himself and the energy he's going to be in. In the next seven days. Let's see here, buddy. Uh-oh. This I ain't never scared. Bone Crusher. This is like the strength card. So this is you being uh, fearless, they said. Brave. Sure, they said. Divinely guided. I feel like y'all are definitely listening to your uh, ancestor spirit guides. Uh, you know that they're around. I feel like things are being confirmed for you, Divine Masculine, in the spiritual, well, in the physical realm. But as far as like uh, something spiritual going on with you, something's being confirmed in the physical here. That's uh, confidence is what that is too. You're sure of it. Give me another one. Somebody stopped biting their nails too. That's good. I feel like someone's not nervous or paranoid or you're not or someone else isn't. That's good. Yeah, no wonder. Uh, this is the set you free, set you free, right? This is also a uh, stripless bands of make her dance. This is also reconciliation. This is the star card. This is spirit guides. This is also mod guys. I don't have any panties on. Right? The transparency card. Uh, someone can see your strength is what this is, Divine Masculine. I also see a spirit guide uh, around you for sure, a strong one. There's a strong presence around you in the next seven days. You too, Divine Feminine. It's a lot of feminine energy. Divine Masculine, it could be a feminine presence that's around you, but whoever it is, you could feel them, G. Like this person is no longer here, but I mean, you can tell when their energy comes in a room, G, okay? Uh, Somebody's a really good dancer out here. Like as far as... uh. What are y'all saying? They said upper body strength, so you must work that pole, girl. Uh, but that's what they said, like a uh, upper body strength. Mm -hmm. Or shit, maybe y'all swole at the top, divine masculine. Uh, something like that. Muscles, <laughs> they said. A lot of you guys are muscular or getting that way or something like that i don't know something like that let's go give me another one you reap what you sizzle okie dokie so you reap what you sow came out the star came out and the courage came out this is actually a good uh combination because some of you guys are going to walk into some type of success uh or not walk into it but gain it for sure divine masculine like those that are talented whatever it is you do divine masculine you could be in entertainment you could be well known for something in your town city state the world okay uh you have a strong presence in whatever field or job or whatever it is that you do like people know when you're in that motherfucker or people i heard what would the gang do without you basically it's basically what that is so the game needs you divine masculine is what this is uh i heard your absence is felt and your presence is felt too it's like you command a room or some shit you reap what you sow now also i do see someone uh separating from someone and they feel like strong energetic better than ever g so i don't know if you separated from someone or someone separated from you but someone feels amazing here okay they do someone is a, also a uh 
don't know why I can't never think of shit when it's time to do these fucking readings, G. Somebody's also like a costume or a clothing. You would think I know this shit uh, only because I've been an extra. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck they call them, G. But I used to do extra work like a long time ago. Whatever it is when they dress you motherfuckers up and be like, this what you gonna wear, right? Put this, 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 this on. Whatever that person is, that's what you do for some of you. I can't remember what it is. I want to say costume director is what I want to say, but no. It was just hair and wardrobe. Thank you. Yes, hair and wardrobe. Somebody works in that, uh, in the entertainment industry or something like that. Somebody might be an extra out here. You know, you motherfucker that we just don't know who is that you none. Like your hair was all, yeah, girl, that was me way in the back. I had the milkshake with my back turned. That's my shoulder moving right there. Yeah, y'all. Uh, somebody's out here doing extra work in the next seven days. Could be a masculine doing it. It's cool money. I mean, yeah, if you ain't got shit else to do and I mean, you want to eat for free. You know what I'm saying? Be some cool ass people. Smoke. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. Uh, somebody does this here. Somebody has a, a strong stage presence here. They're talking about you, Divine Masculine. But this could also just be like, in, like they're making me feel like it could be your job. Like, uh, this feels like business. So even if you're not in entertainment, it's like, <clears throat> say it's a business meeting. When you come in, you get everybody's mind open. Like, now our wheels are turning because you're here and you always have the best ideas. It's like, people are waiting on you, G. People are waiting on you, Divine Masculine, to do something, drop something. Show us what you're working with, basically is what this is, Divine Masculine. Uh, I feel like you're building up the confidence, the courage to do whatever this is. You are definitely divinely guided to do so. You know that uh, some type of consequence comes with this though, whatever this is, because reap what you sow is out here. So it could be good, right? But there's also something else uh, with it. So not everybody going to be happy, you know? Yeah, somebody's like a fashion designer or something. Someone out here designs uh, like uh, dresses or I don't know what you make. And if you even a man that does it, but y'all usually do have good taste. Men can dress women really nice uh, if you haven't noticed. They really like, uh, for those that pay attention uh, to their woman's style or just, you know what I mean? Like they really can. This feels like a male designer or someone who uh like yeezy and shit like here kim put this on and cover your face like the whole face kind of like the whole motherfucker like okay it worked for a while you know uh after a while i was just like this is so you got a mask on under the mask like i got questions anyway let's go y'all uh put one on bone crusher moon dance this is like the moon card but this is also like my distraction card this is like when you're using your intuition and there's something there like trying to convince you no this isn't the right like whatever these little three birds are feel like bird bitches uh divine masculine i've been picking up on this three for a while in regards to like a group of women it could be a group of men that just act like bitches though it's, it's been a lot of that going around gee yeah so this could be men uh who talk like bitches or talk about bitch ass shit or these are actual bitches. Uh, but I still feel like you have the courage to bulldoze right through their ass. The courage and the intuition. Divine Masculine, in the next seven days, you're going to be asked to, like, trample over some shit, G. And, like, fuck they feelings type shit. Okay? Uh, but it's because they're trying to block you. This makes me feel like, uh... You know how, like, they're like, uh... When they would ever... When they would show you those old videos from back in the day when segregation and all that stuff like those kids when the when the black kids were going to college remember and they were all walking to college and all those racist people and all that shit were standing on the side yelling at them and shit and them kids were looking like should we go or should we not pass and they like no go to school go to school and they did gee. this feels like sit-ins and all this shit so there may be some activism or something some type of activism you may be involved in or you may be pulled to be involved in or someone around you is an activist and shit, Divine Masculine. Uh, and people try to stop this person or they try to stop you. But you divinely got it to bulldoze through this shit is what it says. So I'm definitely talking to Divine Masculines who are supposed to be leaders, Jay. Real shit. And you know opposition is out there. It's always gonna be ops out there. But there's damn sure a spirit guide 
uh, ancestor guiding you through this shit, through the dark. You know what? These little three birds here, they don't really feel real. They are, but not really. It's like they're used to people walking on this tightrope, and so they know nobody ever gets that close to them, so they don't fly away. I feel like you actually get close enough to where you startle them, and they fly away. And then it's it's like uh, moving on from there. This feels like a fake-ass trap, me. It do. They said someone trying to test you. For whatever reason, boo. Somebody is. Some of you guys uh, are a little bit nervous about trusting your intuition in regards to something. But I feel like you uh, are just building up the... Con like, this is new for you. Or for somebody here. Like, uh, walking, on, walking out on faith. Stepping out on faith. Yes. In the next seven days. Put something on the star card. Someone steps on a nail, too. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if it's rusty or what, but somebody steps on an actual nail walking around barefoot or some type of needle or something. I don't know. Somebody out here could be a diabetic as well, though. So be careful with that divine masculine, divine feminine with your health and shit like that. Put one on this star card. If you are a diabetic, be careful of injuring yourself. Yes. I feel like I'm talking to some, you know, like, you know. Y'all gotta be careful with nicks and cuts and all that shit. Uh, so be careful. Put one on this star card. Stranded. Yeah, my. This, uh, stripper with this upper body strength, girl. Uh, I don't know. It's something about a stripper, G, that's stuck. A stuck stripper, Divine Masculine. In the next seven days, there's also someone... Or something that you've seen and you can't unsee this shit. Because it's the transparency card and this is stranded. This is like I'm stuck on what the fuck I saw. Like or what just happened. It's something that uh, it feels like some type of experience you have or are going to have in the next seven days. Or it's already happened. It's either going to blow your mind and you're going to be stuck there for a while. Or it already has and you're stuck here. Uh, you know what I mean? Contemplating. Building up. <clears throat> excuse me. Some strength, courage, confidence or something like that to move forward on something. I, that's why I said, I feel like you tested, or I'm, I won't say you tested it, but I, let's just say you uh, fuck with the theory that I've been telling you. Like, okay, let's try the spirituality thing. Let's see how I go down, right? Let me stick with it and see what happens. I feel like something does happen, and now you're being led by your intuition, only now you're tempted to go a little bit further is what it is. Something got confirmed for you. Uh, is what this is and now you're asked to make another move but this one is a little tricky because this one is more so your intuition the other one was like wow right in your face g could have been synchronicities songs uh like i said loved ones around and you just know it however you knew uh some shit like that but you were sure now you're being asked to move but this time it's like you're making your own decision uh in regards to this type of mystical movement here and I feel like you're going to do fine, but you do know this is serious. You reap what you sow. So it's like filling something out in the next seven days. Someone does get stuck on a boat, a stripper, or it's a party with strippers on the boat. Or something like that. I don't know what happened. Why did I get stuck? Let's see. Ella, Ella, it's a storm. Uh, so somebody needs to be careful selling the seven seas during a storm and shit here in the next seven days. Uh, I don't know, bad weather? Especially if you live like a, in, a, in a coastal town or, uh, yeah, in a coastal town, they said. Or an island. An island town. I don't know. I see like a hurricane, a storm. I've been picking that shit up a lot with the climates and all this old crazy shit. This is my Rihanna card, though. You can stand under my umbrella. Told you it's a spirit guide around. You divine masculine foe show. Uh, I feel like you know this because I feel like when it rains, it pours. But you the only one reaping the sunshine like it had to have been God who sent down his spiritual counsel to aid me in this shit. It, it's like something gets confirmed for you, G. And you know. Uh, and it's like, you know, but you don't know. You know, it's like we can only go so deep. We just know it was him, but we don't know the mechanics of the shit. Moon card. But now you have the courage to move forward in it. It's like, you know you're favored or some shit or you know you tapped in or something boy and you are put one on the reap what you sow the sales 
something with the sails on the boat. I don't know. I feel like they get ripped up in a, in a, so this boat could be docked. Somebody who has a boat, you may need to check on that motherfucker if y'all been having storms because I feel like the sails are ripped or something. I don't know because I ain't got no boat. But aren't these called sails? <laughs> yeah, they said they all fucked up, basically. All right. Or somebody uh, vandalizes a boat at night. I don't know. Shit, this definitely uh ain't for my crew. Boat. Shit, when? I must be talking to an elite bunch. Okay, Booski. Uh, some shit like that for some of y'all. For others of you, most of you, this is just like a, a spirit guide and ancestor that's confirmed something for you in the physical. And you have the courage to do something. Move through the dark. Ah, I, I keep hearing footsteps, baby. In the dark. Go in the dark. Ooh. Yeah, somebody listening to some uh, Isley Brothers and shit. That's what's up. Put something on the uh, reap what you sow. Or somebody out here creeping, G. Or it's, like I said, you keep hearing footsteps in the dark. Yes. But I feel like it's your spirit, guys, G. Yes. So some of y'all may be comfortable with this now, Divine Masculine. Because this say you ain't never scared bone crusher. So you or somebody else is like, I love when they hear. Because you know what I mean? They let me stand under their umbrella, Ella, Ella, whenever I feel stuck. You know what I mean? Emotional or some shit. It's like uh, they said you have a friend in Jesus, G. That's literally what they just said. You have a friend in Jesus? Okay. Or whoever you believe in, but they specifically said Jesus. Okay. And I? <laughs> shit. Put one on the reef what you saw. Uh, one on the reef, what you saw. I see some, uh, tears out here. Divine masculine. I suffered through the years and shed so many tears. It's like the, I don't know if you can see them raindrops on that glass there. But that's what it is. Somebody stuck in sadness. Anybody who was, uh, been feeling sad or depressed or down lately, you about to be released from this shit. Whatever this is, Divine Masculine, you or someone else is about to be released from some dark ass energy or setting themselves free has the courage to release themselves. It's it's either brought on by a stripper, a boat captain, okay, uh, uh, I don't know, a chauffeur, I don't know, it's somebody, a staff, they said staff, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, uh, I don't, it feels like staff, yes, something, a support system. Right? That's what a staff is. That's where staff comes from. It's like uh, something you lean on, right? So I do feel like you have spiritual staff here, but I also feel like there's someone around you that's considered staff, whatever, okay? Uh, that's been like bringing some dark energy to you, to your camp, to your home, to your business, some shit like that. So I don't know what they talking about, okay? I heard staff infection, okay? Um, I don't know. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> Put one on the reap what you saw. Yeah, it look like that's what the fuck will live up in there, though. It do. I don't know. Somebody got, got something crawling up in the dome, and I don't know. If you have dreads, braids, or anything that's been growing for a long time, fix it, take care of it, uh, whatever it is y'all do, I don't know. Uh, but do it. Sleeping Beauty's dream. I feel like somebody got mites or lice or something. Like, it's making me itch, G. It is. Somebody got mites or lice or something. Or there's some bed bugs I heard. Ooh. And you got the nerve to have a motherfucking yacht. <laughs> Whoever this is. Y'all better not be in the same group, okay? Because this, your priorities all fucked up, G. Real shit. You ain't even gonna dip your head in the salt water or nothing. Just let the ocean nothing. Like, what is this? This is, mm -hmm. or this somebody else around you got bad hygiene and shit, G. I feel like it's a woman. It's probably, I don't know. I can't say all strippers, but this woman is giving me like a hotastic vibe, G. Like always need help though. You know what I mean? Always stuck and need to stand under your umbrella. I'm stuck here. I have no car. I have no ride. I have no this. I feel like somebody counted on you or this you someone else. Somebody out here is very codependent and nasty, G. Okay. Uh, I don't know why, but they are. Someone's dream is to be a fashion designer out here. 
uh, they said you can be as soon as you have the courage to do what it takes to become this. So whoever that, I, it's something about fashion out here. Oh my wrist, skirt, skirt, trip, fo, fo, dip. Yeah, that's what they started playing. No, he not baller like us. Who the fuck he think he is? You gotta come to my city. You gotta see how we live. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's like two groups. I'm picking up on a group that's like got some shit. Well, they said you either got some shit or you had some shit. But it depends on the staff around you. So something about a staff. Fofo fo, tips about 44. The 144. You could be 44. I don't know. You could be born April the 4th. That could have been significant. All right. I feel like you have the courage to go after something, Divine Masculine. Like now that you know you can is what this feels like in the next seven days. I feel like your dreams are very significant right now, so pay attention to them. Pay attention uh, in the dream, who's what people are doing in the dream. Who's helping you in the dream, who's leaving you in the dream. Uh, you know, something about a dream where people are helping or leaving. You know, like you ever had a dream where you're like, like wondering why that person didn't come and help you. You ever had a dream like you've been in like a situation or a fight or something and you see a friend there or someone there and they they don't help you whatever is going on. You're like, what kind of fucking dream was that? Pay attention to that shit. Or like if you're stuck on the highway and your friend passes you up in a car, but this is in a dream though. Pay attention to that shit, they said. Uh, you're being asked to separate from this person. Have the courage, right, to leave, even though you don't know what the, that dream wasn't even, like, real. It's like moon card, but this person is a blockage or some shit like that, or they, uh, it's like they like you when you're stuck, I heard. Damn. Boy, this you friends? This you staff? Ooh. Okay. Something about a rain, rain and the stars, the moon, the stars, and the rain. Sounds like a nice night to me, but not to be on a yacht. But if it's just moon and stars on the boat, yes. But the rain fucked it up. I feel like someone gets caught in a rain, uh, in a storm or something. Like something turns something real fucked up. A party, uh, something, okay? So just check the weather before y'all hit them seas. It's something like that. I don't know. Or shit, if you feel like you shouldn't get on that motherfucker, don't get on that boat, Divine Masculine, okay? Whatever that is. Gotcha. Uh, put one on this Bone Crusher Moon dance here. Uh, somebody has very pearly white teeth. I don't know. Or thinking about getting like veneers or some shit like that. Uh, this is thoughts is what this is or this is like high on that other shit but this the way your reading is coming out this feels like enlightenment is what this is especially with the moon card uh shit don't be surprised if some of your best shit come to you at nighttime divine masculine best ideas uh whatever the fuck your mind is going to start working at old dark 30 g if you feel led to do something at old dark 30 do it work out right uh, work on some project or something like that. It's telling me like you come alive in the nighttime, G. The strength card is out here with the moon and the thoughts. It's like they just click on to some shit. Mm -hmm. Strong thoughts. You think a lot at night, divine masculine. In the next seven days, I see like you having something implanted in your head. I don't know what that means. I wasn't even trying to say that, but okay. That sounds like some whole other shit, okay? But what I was trying to say was downloads, okay? Spiritual downloads. These are thoughts, spiritual thoughts, but they would be considered downloads. Uh, some things that have been told to you, Divine Masculine, you've never forgotten as a child or something. There's something like uh, some things that you always remember, specific dreams, uh, certain feelings, certain something that you always, it like never left you. It's time for you to move on that is what they said. It could sound, I think we had this discussion before where I'm like, it could sound crazy, G. You could have like waited 17 years, you know what I mean, to go back to school and you may think it's crazy, but it's not, G. Or else why would you keep feeling like that? That's to better yourself. Like, no, ain't, I mean, shit, we learning every day. This is something where you may feel like it's too late and it's not divine masculine. You're being urged to do something in the next seven days. 
some of y'all can tell when it's gonna rain when it's gonna storm even before like clouds or anything like even come in someone uh or you could be a, a, a weatherman or some shit but i don't feel like this that's what that is i feel like some of y'all can feel the weather or change the weather or some shit like that i know this shit sound weird but that's what it says or it's the sails on the boat like i said something like the way something I don't know. I don't know shit about aquatics. Uh, None of that shit, okay? I just remember Nautica and everybody rocked that shit. <laughs> That's all I know about boats, okay? Everybody was wearing Nautica. That's it. Maybe somebody still wearing Nautica. Maybe this is the fashion designer I was picking up on. Is Nautica trying to come back out? Is that even still a thing? Do people still wear that? Let me know. I'd like to use my lifeline. I ain't seen it, but they said Nautica. Or that's somebody's name. This better not be this stripper's name, G. I bet you it is. It sound about right too, don't it? Like, yep. I know. It's a stripper named Nautica. Okay. Well, you know that's all about movement and shit, right? Uh, compass and, you know what I'm saying? Onward mighty. And, uh, why is she stranded? That's a horrible name for somebody that don't move. Okay? That sound like algae and shit all stuck at the bottom. And fungi and things. Somebody out here claims to be something they're not divine masculine. You are someone else. I feel like it's a feminine energy though. Okay. I, I don't know. Somebody out here is indecisive about uh, moving on something in the next seven. I see somebody fishing out here. Going fishing. I got that in Divine Feminines, I think that was. Wisdom and knowledge came out. The key. Yeah, on top of the spirit guide. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, Divine Masculine, there's some shit that you know that's sticking with you. Something you were told, shown, heard, or something. But it was like, you know it was given to you by God. Like, he wanted me to see this and know this. I feel like uh, that's stuck with you, okay? They keep saying that. That's why you know you're supposed to move on it because it's sticking with you. Uh, Y'all damn sure getting some downloads. This wisdom and knowledge with, with thoughts, G, you motherfucker smart as hell. Uh, I'll hear the group I'm talking to. That's why they said if your mind start moving at night, then start moving with your mind. You know what I mean? Like, shit, ain't no telling what time a genius get up. I ain't never heard uh, Einstein having no bedtime and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure when he just felt the shit, he just did the shit. That's what this is. Uh, you don't have a human schedule, Divine Masculine, so don't try to put yourself on one. You're going to realize trying to put yourself on a human schedule in this type of energy, let's say that, is going to be like a blockage for you because you're trying to do shit like other people. You're going to notice that you stuck. So everybody's like, get up at 8 a.m. And you tired as fuck. Like, man, I don't move good at 8, G. I just don't. I move about 1.30, you know what I mean? But shit, let's say if your work is better at 1.30 and shitty at 8, show up at 1.30 if you have the means to do this, I'm saying. Not at your job. But this group I'm talking to, it makes me feel like you guys get pressured to do things before you're ready to, or you procrastinate, It's It's one or the other here. It feels like they said it's both, just different groups of people. So some of y'all move different around different people, which makes sense, right? But it's the staff that makes you do things before you're ready to do them. You are just a procrastinator when it comes to doing things for yourself. So pressure. Somebody in vanilla ice cream? Probably. collaborate and listen yeah ice is back with a brand new invention <laughs> look at that okay robert van winkle um ain't that his name i was mad when i found out that was that man i thought it was a joke i'm like no there's no van winkles yeah okay uh but yes that's what they said ice is back with a brand new invention right that's why i said if you wake up in the middle of the night or your juices start flowing that sounds yeah <clears throat> You should just come on the bed. I should just fuck you right now. Yeah, something about uh, you and somebody. Oh, just forget what I said. I just be thinking out loud. Basically, thoughts. Yeah, I don't know, Divine Masculine. Somebody may say something to you. Or you may say something just unexpected to somebody. Like, why did I say that? 
because uh, you were led to, G, basically, in the next seven days. But yes, uh, you could work with a group of people. Actually, uh, Divine Masculine, they're telling me, be careful sitting in a group of people. Listen to what these people are saying. So some of y'all are staff, okay? They keep saying that. It's a group of people around you, right? Uh, that maybe you're supposed to collaborate with or that you hang out with or work with. They said, listen, uh, listen sometimes. Or somebody needs to listen to you. It's either you need to listen to what these people are saying. You're going to pick up on some shit like, oh, wow. Like, this how I get down, huh? It's either like that or it's like you need to listen, like, to others and shit. Uh, maybe Ice is back with a brand new invention. Or you are Ice. I don't know who Van Winkle is, okay? But somebody, when I said when you come in the motherfucking room, everybody waiting on you to give the new idea. What's up? What have you been thinking? What's what's the new new, right? This type of shit. So maybe you Ice. Shit. Maybe somebody worked for Ice. I don't know. Uh, something. They going up in somebody's house. Shit. So get your papers and your shit together, people that, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you from, okay? Because they coming. Ice. I don't know if you a Van Winkle. I don't even know where they from, G. Like, what is this? Why they talking about that man? Hold on. Somebody gets a new home. It's, you're going to have to fix this motherfucker up, G. I don't feel like you mind. Maybe it's just like an old, you know, I don't know. Reap what you sow. Or somebody bought a home and didn't like get it appraised or, but I, is that possible? Don't you have to do that? Either way, somebody buy a real fucked up ass house, G. Okay. It's just falling apart or you're not taking care of it or someone else is not taking care of a home or an estate or something like that. This could also be a company clothing, uh, something. Somebody just letting some shit just, I don't know, G. It's a, it's a feminine energy. So I don't know. Maybe she, right? I don't know. Okay. I just figure uh, divine masculine. The way that this looks here is that somebody knows that you're the reason why something is not working. Like now I have, it's like you could fi it's like firing someone, you know, like you're the reason the company's all fucked up or, you know what I'm saying? The customers keep leaving or, you know what I mean? You just got that badass energy on your ass. Somebody may need the courage to like tell somebody they got to go. Shit. It's like, how do I, maybe three motherfuckers. I don't know. It said the staff. So shit. They've been talking about the staff the whole time. Okay. So I don't know who that is. Divine feminine. You could work for yourself and got staff. Some of y'all need some staff. Okay. Got too many things on your plate to a man. Okay. You just don't trust nobody, G. Amen. <laughs> you know, it's almost like to, to do the shit. Not that you don't trust people, but it's like to, to know what the fuck to do. You know? So it be like that sometimes. Uh, I see you guys like questioning buying some property or doing something with some property. You're right to question that shit, G. You're right to question that shit. Or open up some business somewhere. Uh, it's not what it was. It's not what it used to be, they said. So don't do it if you feel like you shouldn't be. Or if you feel like a storm is a brewing. Hell yeah, shit. Shit changing, okay? Beverly Hills ain't Beverly Hills no more. Shit, you still gotta watch your ass everywhere. I always felt like that. But people feel safe in certain areas. This says you're not safe nowhere, G. Divine masculine. So be careful. If you get a feeling about some shit, don't fucking do that shit. Don't open whatever. That business, don't move there. Don't bring Nautica home. Uh, all this shit. Don't do it. These may be things that you may have to go back on, they said. No wonder. Because this is you having the courage to... It's like, but how? Now I'm all mixed up in the shit. Not a cohere. This bitch done put an anchor down in my house. Like, how the fuck I'm going to get this bitch out? Mm -hmm. Shit. Throw a bunch of bed bugs on that bitch. I don't know. She'll leave. Shit. It's something. I, I see your wheels turning. Like I said, I don't know what you end up doing. But you a smart ass motherfucker, G. However you escape from something or get out of something or get rid of something... Man, it's, it's, it's amazing. However, whatever you come up with, I don't even know because there's so many out here. Like smart, good ideas like to maneuver around some shit. Yeah, look at me. I am the captain now. Yeah, you get nautical on this shit. It's something about you uh, like steering the ship, they said. So I don't know. Maybe you on the love boat, motherfucker. I don't know. It's something about boats and designers and 
entrepreneurs and uh, spirit guides and strippers and uh, mm -hmm. some of you guys know a lot of foreign women or you could be foreign. Somebody here is like a foreign to wherever you are. So if you live wherever the fuck, you would be foreign to wherever you are is what this is. Or you speak many languages or you like foreign women. That's what this is too. You know what I mean? Like you like them nautical and exotical is what they said, divine masculine. But I feel like whatever type this is that you've been into, uh, whatever type of woman, right? They always stuck though. It's like they beautiful and stuck. They nautical, exotical, and, and like stranded though. Like that's bad when a beautiful bitch can't get no help. You know what I mean? Like something's wrong. Not like she should get everything by her beauty, but it's like, damn bitch never. You know what I mean? Don't nobody ever like nothing. Even the people that twirl the sign for the, you know what I mean? To get your taxes done, somebody pull over eventually, bitch. It's like this. You like wondering, like, what the fuck is going on? Thoughts. I don't know. Mm. Okay? You're definitely looking at someone like, I don't understand why you can't do shit. Or somebody looking at you like this. Okay? Ooh, wait. <sighs> Put something on the reap what you sow. And Sleeping Beauty's dream. Closer to my dreams. Okay, with Sleeping Beauty's dream. I'm going higher and higher. Okay. I heard someone's from Guadalupe. Even though I know that's Guapale. But some they said someone's from Guadalupe. I, look, I said ice and all that shit. I heard El Salvador, Guadalupe. Hold on. They said Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I don't know, y'all. Something about some immigration. So y'all be careful uh, how you get here on planes, trains, automobile, or wherever the fuck y'all going. Make sure your passports and your paperwork, okay? Because there's some strong suspicion out here about how somebody got here or is traveling through the states or countries and shit. So I don't know, okay? That's for someone. They waiting for somebody to come home. Uh, I see somebody who just abandons a home or just leaves something here. So, okay. Anyway, Divine Masculine, I do see you closer to something. Sleeping Beauty's dream with closer to my dream. Reap what you sow. I'm telling you, you had a dream about someone or someone had a dream about you uh, and they haven't been able to forget this dream. It was purposely put into your head by God's spiritual counsel. That's why it's stuck and stranded there. I feel like it was to let you know, like, this is your lifeline. Like, you can stand under this umbrella. Pay attention to whose umbrella you can't stand under and whose you can, G. But something about in a dream, though. Like, so maybe you've been suspicious about something. Like, do people really have my back? You know what I mean? And I feel like you aren't getting the answers uh, 3D, but in the 5D you are. It's just a matter of, like, figuring it out. Uh, some shit like that. But I feel like most of y'all seeing some shit manifest, though. Ooh, you got two pugs in a rug with the empress here. Uh, the cap with the fish here. So somebody wants to create something with somebody, but they pretending like they don't want to with the empress. They want to be two pugs in a rug, but they sneaking around. Yeah. So like sneaking, not sneaking around like cheating, but like sneaking around like, you know, like they just gonna pop up. You or someone else. Some of you guys may receive an unexpected message, text, or something like that, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. Somebody damn sure going fishing. Like you travel somewhere specific just to go fish here. I feel like it rains here or like some shit. I see an anchor getting caught up in some like, I don't know, G. They keep talking about this boat, so I don't know. I don't know if this shit on purpose. Someone gets stranded out there and some, some fugaziness going on on a boat. Or this is like a motor or an anchor or something gets mixed up in some like coral, algae. I don't know what the fuck going on, okay? Somebody gonna have to figure this shit out. I don't, this don't sound like nobody I kick it with. None of my people in danger of being stuck. I mean, not, not that I know of. I wasn't invited. Let's just say that. I wasn't invited to the shit. So I don't know. This is for somebody. Uh, here in the next seven days just be careful where y'all traveling and shit you know and make sure you got papers and ids and you know where the fuck you are is what this is because somebody out here does not even know where the fuck they are it feels like a woman g 
unless somebody knows this is some what someone's trying to do get someone out in the middle of nowhere or invite them somewhere i don't know divine masculine whoever's trying to plot on someone or trying to get them to do something or uh, alienate alienate themselves from a some situation to be alone or whatever this person knows already divine masculine divine feminine so you know because I don't feel like y'all are doing this. I feel like someone's trying to do this to you. You already know what the fuck it is. Be careful whatever this is going on. This could be something simple where it's like someone invites you, a woman invites you over to, I don't know, a family barbecue. And you're like, this sounds like a whole setup. Like with all her family members just like coming at me. So when you gonna get married? When you gonna? It could be something like that. You right. <laughs> Shit. That's, it's like you would be stranded, stuck there. You would. Uh, it's something like that. It's like to get you out your comfort zone to be able to attack something. Either you're doing this, someone around you is doing this, or it's being done to you, G, in the next seven days. But I feel like that's why you get nautical on these motherfuckers, though. Uh, and you know how to, like, uh, they said switch the sails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Change the sails. Somebody out here got to be a damn boat captain or something, because I don't know what they're talking about. Like they're showing me someone's like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I feel like I'm milking a motherfucking cow right now, but they're showing me somebody do this and the sails switch in like a different way. And so the boat goes another way or some shit. Look like hard work. Okay. It do. I don't know what they're talking about with your reading. I hope this makes sense. Cause I'm like, what? I feel like it's a metaphor, of course. But it's still why they're choosing to use this one. I don't know. So shit, some of y'all could live by a beach or I don't know. Shit. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I have a dream. You got a lot of dreams out here. Closer to my dream. Sweet beauties. I mean, Sleeping Beauty's dream. Martin Luther King had a dream. Uh, it's a lot of, I told you, some about dreams out here. Ten of Pentacles ancestors is what this is is usually what this card is with the moon card some of these ancestor spirit gods you don't even know divine masculine this could be someone else's i feel like uh you and someone else's spirit guides have uh yeah stop collaborate and listen okay uh they're stuck together or they stick together ice is back you know ice freezes like it hardens they it sticks uh with the brand new invention i feel like i don't know why they keep using vanilla ice and shit uh, but they're saying like some spirit guides, uh, your spirit guides and someone else's came together to make something happen. Uh, this generational wealth right here, Booski. A lot of y'all work at night. Like I said, 10 of Pentacles. I'm telling you, Divine Masculine, if your shit start flowing at night, I don't give a fuck if it's, I don't even know, G. The whole house could be quiet. I don't know how you gonna do it, G. I don't know if you got a basement or uh, something, but I don't give a fuck, okay? You gonna have to figure that shit out because I feel like when your shit turn on, you gonna have to use it, you know? So like if that shit comes to you at old oh, dark fucking 30 or four o'clock in the morning, 2 17 AM, it's saying get up and do that shit, G. That's why they put it here at this time. It's like while it's fresh. Something you need to move on while it's fresh, they said. Okay. A lot of ideas you have, they're not even your own. These are like ideas that your ancestors had that they didn't get to fulfill. They didn't get to fulfill the prophecy. So that's why they, it's like pressure, spiritual pressure on you, generational pressure. And that's why you have the urge to go complete certain things or go certain places or be with certain people because they didn't get to do it. It was, I feel like something was meant for generations before you. And I feel like you're the, you the Martin shit in this motherfucker, G. You know? Something about the color purple. Yeah, all them struggles and shit. You got a purple tie, them thoughts, all that shit. I see dark, you know what I mean? A lot of things that you have uh, overcome here, Divine Masculine. Dark times, I see you overcoming some dark thoughts and shit. Like they're starting to be replaced with good thoughts, good memories, good things and shit like that. Uh, fresh ideas. It's like something's being like, they said it's wafting, wafting. Is that a word? Waft. Hey Siri. What does waft mean? As a verb, waft means pass or cause to pass easily or gently through or is it through the air? Oh. Do you want to hear the remaining one? No. Yeah, I hope I heard what she said. Yeah, through the air. Something's wafting out, they said. 
Okay, y'all. I just be having to check sometimes. I see dream homes out here, Divine Masculine. But I feel like they're showing you this. Uh, or you guys are, uh, yeah, I do see some of y'all getting your dream home, your dream girl, your dream relationship, or somebody is. You got a damn good reading, boy. Uh, you got the ancestors letting you stand under the umbrella, Ella, Ella, or somebody else is. I feel like when you stuck, they come through. Uh, I feel like when you guys are stuck, you still blessed, meaning like when things aren't going as well, you still have a roof over your head. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you're still able-bodied your mind is still clear like even in the worst times divine masculine you are able to rise g i feel like this is a gift <laughs> to be able to do this you or someone else yeah somebody got a jet too yeah you got a jet and a yacht okay that's what's up shit Or you're destined to have these things, Divine Masculine. Maybe not all three or whatever, but shit. You know, I see homes out here like luxury is what I'm saying. So maybe y'all were realizing like maybe it's it's the staff. That's the reason why I'm not achieving these things. Meaning the people I have around me, the people I lean on, the things I lean on, I use as a crutch, right? Uh, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, right? These things aren't comforting. So that's why they said, I've said that before in some other uh, video about uh, Kanye firing the whole staff. Did I not just, I don't know what reading that was, but it's they giving me the same shit again. You need to be like Kanye in regards to your staff. Like y'all motherfuckers ain't feeling the vision. I don't know if this shit is true, G, but it was like a, I had saw this uh, story and shit and this allegedly, cause I don't know if he really did this. But it was something about when he was doing that Donda album and he had a producer and the producer overslept and the producer kept texting him like when he realized he wasn't like he was late. And he was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I'm so they just showed like the text message and it went something like, oh, my God. Yeah, I'm so sorry. You know, what I mean, I'll be there. I'm so sorry. Like I would never, you know, and the dude kept texting and Kanye said, stop texting and go find Jesus, G. <laughs> or some shit like that it's like you can go uh because if you believed in the vision you wouldn't have even been you know what i mean you would have woke up hours before and just been here that's my staff to make me feel comfortable in my shit it's like the people that are supposed to help you create this are failing g is what this is and you can't afford that shit so stop texting and go talk to jesus or whatever he said g it was something like that or go find god go pray it was something how he responded to that dude like man you already didn't let me know you that's why they said stop collaborate and listen so maybe some of y'all supposed to stop a collaboration or stop listening to certain people that you collaborate work with group up with and listen to your higher self for once you're gonna come up with a brand new invention yes i don't know why they i mean i don't want to quote vanilla ice i really don't so i mean shout out to you for sure because everybody was on that shit till they start making fun of that motherfucker who did it first uh in living color did it and then after Suge held him over the balcony and shit, he, that's when he really became Van Winkle. Like, man, fuck the whole, you know? So some of y'all are shedding some image or something. Somebody may be getting embarrassed out here as well, because I'm sure that was embarrassing. That was allegedly, I don't know. But didn't he say that shit happened? Like, uh, like Red from the Five Heartbeats when he had that motherfucker over the balcony. Like, motherfucker, my office, I was off from nine to five, bitch. Uh, something? The staff! Yes, okay. Somebody could be watching The Office, though. Put one on uh, the star. Uh, Stranded and under my umbrella, Ella. Yeah, they're going to start looking into somebody's immigration papers, G. Or how they move in or something like that. Uh, Some shit. King of Pentacles. Yeah, watch it, Divine Masculine. You coming up as the King of Pentacles and Martin Luther, Johnny Cash. We got married in a fever. Look at all these Pentacallis, brother. Shit. I'm damn sure talking to a bunch. If you ain't got the shit yet, Divine Masculine, you about to get it, G. Uh, however, I don't know how, but it's a lot of spiritual uh, activity, God-given talent, thoughts, everything out here. You have a lot of aid, they said. Uh, you're going to just look pennies from heaven. They said, even though I know you don't want pennies, but King of Pentacles would under my Ella Ella, this generational wealth, this inheritance, G, you were someone else. You're inheriting something or you inherited something. You may feel stuck and don't know what to do with this. Fire your staff, G. <laughs> That's what they said. Get rid of your staff. That's what's blocking this shit. Like they don't see the vision, the future of something like you do. You're a visionary, G. 
Yeah. Uh, maybe you need to speak up. Bob Dylan, this is like my throat chakra card. That shit buttoned all the way the fuck up. You could tell he can't really, he doesn't want to say anything. There's no swords out here. Yeah, this is like people trying to, this is like kiss ass people. You know how like, it's kind of tricky, Divine Masculine. You got to be careful. Whoever I'm talking to, y'all have money. Right? Oh my wrist. They keep playing that too. So I don't know, somebody got a nice diamond bracelet or you like to wear like jewelry, but specifically like uh, bracelets or something. Something with your wheels on your car. Uh, Y'all like nice shit, okay? But I feel like to keep this up or to attain, right? I feel like you do need a staff, right? A group, a support, a soul tribe, whatever people want to call it. And I feel like whoever is around right now, they don't see that. Like maybe what what you want or what you do is just a job to them. To you, it's motherfucking life, G. You know what I'm saying? It's my fucking livelihood. That's why I feel Kanye when he did that shit. I would have been pissed off. Ain't he an air sign? Yeah, we don't fuck around with shit like that. Time management and shit. If you say you're going to do some shit and be somewhere, I prefer you be there before me. But especially if you work for me, you know what I mean? To prove that that's what's up. Uh, and you late too? Yeah, I would. I probably would have said worse shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. So that was a great answer to me. But this is this type of shit. Letting people go. You got money to make. You got million dollar ideas is what this is. Look at this shit. Ten of Pentacles with the key. Million dollar ideas. You too, Divine Feminine. But you already know you do, Booski. I feel like I'm really talking to or about Divine Masculines here. There's damn sure, uh, I do see a paid stripper out here, but it's because of you, King of Pentacles. That's why Nautica, Nautica is even, you know what I mean? But you see that now, transparency card. Some woman is just around for money, for your money. So it's almost like maybe the bitch ain't stuck. You just feel stuck with this broad or she wants to be stuck, but it's because you bail people out, G. How the hell are you bailing out the staff? What? I mean, it's cool to help and shit. You know what I mean? You're supposed to take care of them and shit. Uh, that's why a lot of us hated our boss because they didn't treat us well. They overworked us, underpaid us, and didn't give a fuck. But you're right. We didn't see their vision. You know what I'm saying? I think y'all stupid the way y'all run this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Well, you can't have people like that working for you. And we've all been those people. Like, this is a stupid-ass job and everybody here is stupid. Right? You notice you don't work as hard or well for these people when you don't see the same vision they have. I feel like in regards to whatever you're trying to achieve, it's a must that you have these people or these type of people around you or get rid of people that don't. Okay? And you can't be mad at these people. Because, I mean, honestly, it's almost like, well, shit, I see my own dream. That's why I ain't paying attention to yours. Then they don't need to work for you. You know what I mean? These are people that like want to be a part of, you know what I mean, what you're building. You know what I mean? There's a king, a queen, there's a court jester, there's this right-hand man, there's a, you know what I mean? Somebody who doesn't mind being the right-hand man, the court jester, all of this shit. My lord, right? Someone doesn't mind calling you that. Those are the people that you want around. Not the people that are like, man, I have to say my lord. That's what my motherfucking badge say. <laughs> That's why I got these big ass shoulder pads on. Like, I, I work at the castle. I have to call him. When the next one come, I'm gonna call him my lord too. Nah. This, this, this staff you have, when you leave, say like, uh, say you move somewhere else, that staff rolling with you, G. They going to always call you my Lord. Okay. Wherever you go, even if you're not on the throne, those are the people you need around you. Cause they going to help you rebuild real shit. People that see you as a King, no matter fucking what G Martin Luther, Johnny Cash, Rodney, whatever the fuck. Okay. Don shit, burger, whatever the fuck, whatever King you want to be. I feel like you need people around you that see you as a King all the time. When you sad, when you're down, when you're out, when you're stuck, when you're emotional, when you're, you know what I mean? Lost something, uh, whatever the fuck. And that's hard to come by. Shit. That's why they said collaborate and listen. You know what I'm saying? You'll pick up on people's vibe while they really around this shit. What they're there for. Put something on the damn... Yeah, your money's strong, G. Real shit. You got strong, long, dick, dong money here, Divine Masculine. If you haven't achieved this yet, it's out there. It's just you need the courage to put some intuitive nudge, thought, or idea to the to the test. That's all this is. And it does take some pinnacles to do this shit. I ain't gonna lie. You're gonna have to spend some money to make some money here. You too, Divine Feminine. That's why y'all ain't seen the nun DU line yet. But it's coming as far as clothing and shit. 
Uh, Cause shit, that shit cause I don't want no shit to just unthread on you motherfuckers and shit. It start raining and the, the, the letters start melting off. I can get y'all some shit. <laughs> I can get it. But shit, I mean, don't you want your shit to like stay together? Right? Woven nice? Yes. That shit take money, G. It does. Uh, but that's what this is, Divine Masculine. You are going to do this shit, whatever it is. But it does take money to make money and shit. So... A lot of y'all have seen your future. You just don't know how to get there. Like you've been shown the future. Like, damn, that's me. Like however many years they jumped. Or they told you that you'd become whatever or you'd be something, right? And maybe you didn't see it. But I feel like y'all starting to. Like, I fucking get it now. Yeah, G. It's something passed, something passed down to you. Uh, a key. Shit. Basically, you got the keys now. You got the juice now. Is what they said. So what you gonna do with that shit? What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside? Yeah, somebody house just all just... Y'all need to go look in this. I don't know if this Nana house or what, G. Or somebody need to clean out the attic or the the uh, basement or something. Or somebody just buy shit and don't even use it. You just buy shit and then it just sit there. What you gonna do with all that junk? Like, I'm just gonna put all that junk inside my trunk. Like, what? You gonna ride around with it now? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody clean out some shit and just throw it all in a car. Like, so maybe someone's moving? They, I don't know, bruh. Whoever this is got black eyes. They got, I don't know. That's the black eyed peas, ain't it? Yeah. I don't know, some domestic violence something going on here too. That's why this person wearing these glasses, they said. I don't know, G. Somebody may be flying back home to another country. I heard fleeing to another country. I don't know. It's a lot of like weird ass messages in here, G. Someone buys someone a ticket. Or someone bought someone a ticket to come to America or come some to another country or something. And somebody stuck. And I don't know. Y'all be careful, man. Shit. Somebody don't know where the fuck they are. Nothing, G. I feel like somebody in the middle of no motherfucking where. That, that shit ain't funny, but... This feel like a woman. Yeah, I feel like her eyes, like, swollen shut, G. Damn. This might be, like, some trafficking shit. Like, just somebody catching... I don't know, bro. They they coming, though. <laughs> Shit. I, that's why I don't know. Somebody getting uh, women from, like, South America, they said. It's like a, a new slave trade, they said. It's a new slave trade going on. What? I believe the shit. I do. That's the crazy shit. These motherfuckers moving at night and shit. Uh, they move them at night. It's, I hear women crying, G. Like, uh, women crying speaking Spanish. Like a bunch of moans. They just want to go home. I feel like these women were promised a job or something. This give me sweatshop vibes. Uh, or they got women trapped. I don't know, G. I don't know if this come out on the news or what. What? They said it's a modern day. Uh, I've been robbing motherfuckers since the slave ship with the same clip and the same four or five. Yeah, I don't know, G. This is like people being taken against their will. Yipes. I hope this ain't how you balling and got your wrist. Skirt, skirt. Right? And your, and your fofo. <laughs> None of that. Yeah, 44s and shit. Somebody being taken against their will, like at gunpoint here. Uh, or be careful, Divine Masculine. Divine, I don't know what's going on, G. Okay? This shit all mixed up, so y'all figure out. Maybe that's why the whole Nautica thing, because I don't even know what part of the globe we on. For real. I feel like I'm in other countries and everything here, so... Wow. I feel like someone lures some women somewhere. 
Because Chris says, no, he not balling like us. Who the fuck he think he is? It's like somebody talking to somebody. Like, I could make shit better for you. I could make you a celebrity overnight. Star card. You got to come to my city. You got to see how we live. Like, oh, I can come to wherever? Leave this place and come there? And like, yeah. Now he like, you should just come on the bed. I should just fuck you right now. Like, what happened to coming to your city and bowling out and saying like, yeah, bitch, but you got to fuck for that. I didn't tell you that. Like, no. Like, too late. It's this shit. This feel like sex trafficking, G. Okay? With a lot of, like, Latina women here. Okay? Wow. Be careful what you mixed up, Angie. Uh, Because I heard meet me in the mall is going down. Somebody uh gets, like, taken down at a mall or shopping or something. Leaving their house to go shopping. The police come and get this money. I don't know. What? 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 Yeah. Loose ends. You can't stop the rain when it starts to pour. Yeah, man. What happened to the, uh, all the shit we, I mean, I do feel like all that other shit, maybe shit, let's move. I mean, I guess it's supposed to come out, but I'm like, how do we go from all the other shit to this? Somebody need to be careful out here. Somebody, uh, there's a woman or women that get away. And they tell these motherfuckers, like, I don't know how to get it to you, but I could point to you where the fuck we were. I think this is where they live, where it went down. And somebody has the courage to tell or something or some plot or something to look. It's either to get someone stuck somewhere, kidnap women or a woman or some shit like that. I don't know. Okay. Maybe y'all just watching the movie, Divine Masculine. I don't know, G. Okay? I always go there when I'm fucking speechless, bro. Like, maybe this just a movie, none. Huh? Maybe this, like, Law and Order or something. Yeah, you're right. Right? It's like this type of shit. Because I'm like, what? Okay. Put something on the Reap What You Sow, Guapale, and Sleeping Beauty's Dream. Yes, G. Elton John, Rose Color Glasses. This is saying something. I'm telling you, it's an illusion. Somebody got somebody or is trying to get someone out here with false pretenses here. Or someone see, it's either like someone sees a home or a relationship or an opportunity and they see it wrong. Somebody dress it up like a motherfucker divine masculine. Or you already have peeped this shit and now you're trying to figure out how to get out of this. But Elton John with these rose colored glasses, it's like you're seeing it and no one else sees it like that. You know what I mean? Is what this is. Crazy shit is. The cl this could go two ways because this closer to my dreams and sleeping beauty's dream with the reap what you sow. So it could be like, I mean, you like people think you're seeing things this way, but you're not because you got all this spiritual knowledge. So some shit may look crazy to other people. This is also like in your dream. Something seems like a uh, fishy in your dream, but it's like too rosy or too good or I don't know something about a dream. It's either a dream that you're having like while you're sleeping, right? Which really doesn't feel like that would be too good. You know what I mean? No one could really influence that. I feel like this is something someone sold you, G. Or they're trying to sell you. If it sounds too good to be true, Divine Masculine, it usually is. This sounds like help, aid, a bailout, I heard. A bailout. You get stuck with these motherfucking people, this bitch, this home, this, this property, this something, G. And you are going to try to figure out how to get the fuck out of this shit. You're being given ideas how to do this. Yeah, I feel like it was a, yeah, this ain't even you, Booski. You got on your, this is my, I wear my mama's Glendale Community College t-shirt. Balky Bartakamu's Perfect Strangers, Cousin Lottie, uh, Mr. Holland's Opus, for dry Itchy Eye. Like, this is like uh, not your style. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, it's like this is who you really are, Right? And it's making me feel like, yeah, this not speaking up, not doing anything. And you the lead singer of the band, the lead singer of the band got to say something and put on another. I mean, you can wear it. You can. But like, it's like they want you to take your place, your position, they said. Yeah, take your position, Divine Masculine. Whatever this is, it feels like business or it feels like a uh, home. But this is a home you create like, create like for your kids, your kids, kids, and they kids, Ten of Pentacles. 
uh, maybe with someone without, I don't know, I'm not really picking up on no feminine energy out here except for Nautica, who always stuck and crying and shit and always need a place to stay or use your car or a car or something or need to know how to do something, fix something, go like this. She knows nothing, G. So I feel like you're getting out of some situation like that. Yeah, you might have seen some woman. It feels like, uh, this feels like a karmic woman, G, with rose-colored glasses on. Like, maybe she came off independent, but she always need help, is what I heard. Somebody around you that, I don't know if they just, you might have built this bitch all the way up. And so maybe she come off to us, or whoever, the community, the people, uh, like she's whatever the fuck. But it's telling me you built a whole bitch, G. Or this bitch couldn't build herself up if you weren't there. It's something like that. I don't know if somebody thinks this is a secret. Because thoughts here is with the moon. It's not though. Everyone knows that uh, it's like build a bitch is what this is. I don't know. <laughs> That's basically what this is. The the sewing machine is here. What the fuck? It's like her house is her house. She lives because she flies. Uh, She shops. She sells. Right? Uh, all this shit because of someone now it could be her daddy money or someone out here I don't know <laughs> it's a weird ass reading it done went from uh yeah Lisa and Linda I was about to say it done went from a lot of shit but they said it's for somebody yeah you may have uh stopped yourself from wanting to hear something know something uh, feel something, do something. Like it was like you were trying to resist it because the strength card is out here. Some of y'all are trying to suppress something that you know uh, some way, something, some place you're led to go. But it's not without the help of your staff. So your staff is helping you suppress something. This could be like enablers and shit, you know? Well, it's like, you know, I haven't really been feeling good. Here, take some of these, right? Just putting pills in your hand and shit. Uh, this time, and you just knock the fuck out or you drooling and shit. Don't even know what the fuck going on. It's something like this going on here. But it's rose colored glasses. Like, no, they just want me to get sleep. Like, yeah, nigga, forever, nigga. <laughs> shit. Uh, never wake up. Yeah, you're right. Or never be coherent again. Dark thoughts. Uh, somebody wanted you depressed, sad, all fucked up out here, Divine Masculine, on some real shit. I see you conquering this. But uh, they keep saying a staff. It's a lot of masculine energy out here, too. So these could be relatives, brothers, uh, friends, cousins, co-workers. I don't know. But you got a lot of hating ass men around you, too, G. You do. And some some uh, codependent ass women, okay? Yeah. Somebody trying to sell somebody shitty property, shitty home, shitty car. A shitty deal is what I heard. Yeah, fill that shit out. They keep saying nautical. <laughs> this broad is stupid. Whoever you, uh, whoever you uh, do, it's like she's thinking like naughty. Like, ooh, I can get nautical with you right now. Like, you stupid ass bitch. Uh, not only that, not even the same thing. It's like this type of, like naughty and nautical, like she thinks they're the same thing. Who is this bitch? She can't spell neither or that. What the fuck? Like none. That's why I don't know when she stopped going to school. It look young than a motherfucker. Shit. Uh, that's what I'm saying here. That's funny though, because for this woman to be all into fashion and shit, that's how I know that you put her on. Because shit, Nautica was back way back in the day. Like, bitch, you should have been in fashion when Nautica left, knew who in, knew who out. Abercrombie, is you still in it? Like, you know what I mean? You kind of follow shit. I feel like she don't even, unless she was just young than the motherfucker, maybe this is just a young bitch. Mm -hmm. Not saying she should wear it, but it's almost like you just got put on, bitch. You weren't even like about this shit all your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you weren't, uh... You know, how we went through our Tommy Hilfiger days and all that shit. You know, like we just, this group I'm talking to, right? That's just the shit that you wore, uh, period. This is like somebody who wasn't even in that and now they are. So that's why I know like they, uh, they get that from you, G. Or you get this from somebody else. Somebody built a motherfucker all the way up from nothing, G. Somebody was like literally, like wasn't doing shit with their life, wasn't gonna be shit. Uh, cheap, they said. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah, bird. <laughs> Shit, yes. Cheap, 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 cheap. That's what birds do. Yes. I feel like you put somebody on, G, and now they feel entitled to something. Or this, I don't know who this is. 
And now you're trying to figure out how to maneuver around this shit now because you have created a monster. Wow. Anyway, I'm out of here, G. Divine Masculine, that's been your reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Masculine getting no fit nooks. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.